Now, this is one I have been looking forward to for a long time. Ever since I knew that she was willing to come on my show, Ali Love, thank you so much for joining us on Joy to the World. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here with you. Well, we got something new today. Instead of the regular interview, the regular Q&A, I thought we would be uh, maybe a little different. We'll play a game called Love It or shove it. Now, the rules of the game, Ali, are pretty simple. We give you the subject and you tell us if you love it or if you want to shove it. And if you want, we can kind of go into a bit of detail about those questions as well. Does that sound good? Yes, I was actually going to ask. I was like, I hope you let me explain myself because sometimes just having blanket statements, people will just like, what do you mean? So yes, I'm excited. I'm ready. You know, I love a good game. All right, let's rock and roll. Question number one, Ali Love. Do you love it or shove it? When people ask, is your last name really love? Oh, I was not prepared for this. Um, I'm going to start off nice and I'm going to say I love it. Uh, the reason I'll say that, Ian, is because um, most times I think people think of me as a celebrity or a star. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt where I would have a, a stage name. Uh, that I would somehow have a different name and figure myself so. But the reality is love is my real last name. It's, it's my birth name. It, it's, I'm just little Allie Love from the block. <laughs> That's a great answer. And I can actually relate because my last name is obviously Joy, hence the show Joy to the World. I mean, I get asked that all the time. Is your name really Joy? Wait a minute. Is that true? And I'm like, uh, yeah, come on. So I can kind of relate to you in just a little way. Twinsies, twinsies. All right. Do you love it or shove it? Now, this one, we're kind of giving you a layup here. Do you love it or shove it? Hosting for the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, I love it. And I miss it. Oh, my gosh. Talk about joy to the world. I, I mean, I miss walking on that court. I miss our fans. I miss the energy. Obviously, the team this season, who wouldn't want to see them in person? And the fact that, you know, I get to be so close to the action. I mean, I've, I love basketball since I was a kid. So it, this is 1,000%, even though that's not a percentage. And it doesn't make sense mathematically, but I'm going to go there that I love it. What about the team? What are you excited most about with the team right now, especially being led by Nash? Yeah, I think seeing Steve Nash works in terms of like how he's operating and, and having D'Antoni there and, and and then just like these three key players that I know all of our fans are just thrilled to watch, including me. I'm looking forward to how we come together, right? We're just in the beginning stages. We all know when you get and become a part of a new team, whether you're a basketball player or you're just someone at a new job, it takes time to find that groove. And so it's, it, it's exciting and I will say magical to watch them create the conversation, thread the needle of the story they're telling right now for the Brooklyn Nets together, and then find that sweet spot that we know is coming. 